Alright, welcome, welcome. My name is Anthgator, and you are watching episode 36 of Long War of the Chosen. And there we go. We have a VIP rescue from a vehicle. And it is a fairly small squad mission, fairly low tech, low strength mission. Uh, but this is perfect. We can stealth back to the evac. Um, we do have a uh, specialist here, Trink, who can hack from the evac. And it looks like that VIP may be able to make it to the evac all in one go. That would be uh, a wunderbar. But, let's see. Looks like we have quite a ways of... Uh, our map heading off to the left here, which actually, uh, actually, I think that's gonna benefit us. Uh, take the extra time, head off all the way to the left, make your way along this map edge, all the way out to here, and come back over this way. Um, the uh, the VIP and the extract being so far from that map edge may actually give us uh, the the benefit we need in order to. Uh, um, to actually successfully stealth all the way through this. So, all right, we're gonna first bring Lux in. I'm not, I'm not dealing with uh, with civilians standing in uh, <laughs> in these window wells here and, and breaking your concealment. That would just be, it would just be horrendous. It would be awful. Uh, so oh, we're not gonna deal with it. So instead, we're going to come all the way around over here. We can take a look. Excellent. Already there. Bring everyone else up at, as far as they can go. Um, I may end up regretting bringing uh, a laser rifle on Trank and sacrificing the extra mobility uh, that I could have gained otherwise. Um, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Let's see. So we've got, it looks like we've got plenty of clear open space over here. The one thing that could really mess us up on this uh, would be solo drones. Um, if they happen to be hanging out kind of right in this area, that would be very unfortunate. But we are looking good. We're looking good. Somehow stepping back from the roof gets us a little more vision uh, than being actually on the edge of the roof. I'm not really sure how that always works, but it always seems to work that way. Roger that. Okay, We're going to come forward a little bit. And then I'm going to push all the way to the left. Okay. We do have those civilians right there, but that's okay. They're not blocking us too badly. Got it covered. Got it covered. Trank's, uh, Trank's mobility may end up being a serious issue here. Got it. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's going good so far. It's going good so far. What was that? Okay, we're hearing something from that direction. Hopefully, we can still avoid it by going and taking the uh, the map edge. Let's bring Graham out to here. And all right, let's see. Let's bring. Bring the zealot to here. See what we see. See anything? Just trying to be very, very careful. All the stealth, all the time. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna bring. Moving to designated Graham. position. We're gonna hug the map edge here rather than trying to find cover. Affirmative. Okay. This is this is looking potentially possible. I'm, I'm liking the way this is playing out so far. How much further do we have to go? We've got to cross one more building here, and then uh, one more parcel there, and cross over to the evac there. Okay, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, Alright, let's bring King Lux out to here. I just wanted to give him a little bit further ahead there let's see and let's actually bring him to the cover there what do we see what do we see nothing see this is this is exactly what i was hoping for when i said that uh, the uh, 
um, <clears throat> the map, the evac, and the, the vehicle being over there might just make it so that uh, we can stealth all the way through this. This portion of the map may really not be being used. Oh, we heard a door. Where was that door? Is that the other door? Hmm. I bet it's the other door to this building on the other side, which is okay. Right, we're gonna keep pushing to the edge. And we're gonna, we're gonna take the corner a little, not quite as sharp, because we're, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Looks into here, looks into we'll here, die. and now, yeah, now the mobility is really starting to separate our soldiers here. Hostiles on the move. So I really, really hope I can end up pulling Trank out of these guys that are coming through. That's going to be the key. So, move, move, move. let's bring Trank through the corner. Okay. Moving to position. Things are going very well, very smoothly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring Graham all the way around to the corner there. He's got the extra mobility, he can make up for it. He's a fine. Will do. Bring Lux into there. And we'll, sure, we'll put Zelda right here. Ooh, this is looking possible. This is looking possible. There's something out We're there. almost to the evac. Two more turns, I think, and Tranko have reached the evac. Maybe three. Within four turns, we're out of here. Uh, all right, let's bring let's bring Trank all the way around the backside. Actually, no need to be super aggressive with it. Okay, let's bring Lux into position. here. Again, no need to be super aggressive with it. Headed there now. Let's come right up this direction. Okay, we'll bring the zealot just a little bit closer. Still not seeing anything. This is good. This is good. Uh, we can bring the RPG right up here. Ooh. I've got movement here. Okay, there's something hanging out right over there. Oh, Nelly. Oh, we're seeing... Okay, that, that is a solo drone. Okay. And we do have reinforcements actually coming in next turn. I think, I think we can get out next turn, though. Let's bring... Yeah, let's bring Graham right up here. And, yep, now we're seeing stuff. We sure are seeing stuff. Moving out. I'm on the move. Okay. I'm on it. Roger, Roger, watch, Roger, overwatch, Roger. overwatch. Oh no! They're dropping! They're gonna reveal us! Oh, they are totally going to see us. They're totally going to see us. Right off the bat. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Oh, oh, actually they're far enough away. Oh, I thought they were right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. And, all right, from here, yep, from here we are in the evac. You can see the door. Okay. Um, all right, I think I actually want to move all of my soldiers into the evac first. I'm on the move. 
That way they don't need to break any overwatches, although if any overwatches do come up, I guess I do have to break them so that um, my... Okay. Large intel or reduce contact cost. This is a higher chance and it's more valuable than large intel overall anyway, now that those are 200. Let's go for it. Come on. Ah, oh, really? Ah, oh, this would have been such a big, such a big boon. Ugh. Okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. This is so scary. Oh, what? How is... No, you kidding me. That didn't... What? That's supposed to activate the VIP. I'm not supposed to have to get to the door and open it. Oh, that's... That's... That's awful. Um... Uh... Okay. Although it didn't break my concealment either. It's also supposed to break my concealment. That definitely bugged. Okay, well, let's move our Kanchita right there. And, um, I guess we'll overwatch here. Uh, hopefully, RPG can move up, move back, Trank's teamwork can get him out. Hopefully, we can still do this. We are still in concealment. <laughs> yeah, that was one tile away from activating right there. Uh, okay. This is this is absolutely nuts. I'm on it. Okay, we're gonna move Graham right here. Jeez, this is this is activating everything in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, possibly the drone as well. Yeah, eight things all activated all at once. Oh God. And I, I definitely don't have the squad that can that can handle removing these guys. Now these guys are on yellow alert. I really hope they don't take any serious actions. Okay. Uh, no, they didn't because I activated them on my turn. They couldn't have. Yes. Oh my God, Mr. VIP, how are you this slow? Mobility 12, are you for real right now? Um, how the heck am I gonna get you out? That, that is so unfortunate. Two tiles away. If, if if I had a commander on this mission. Oh, that is painful. I mean, yeah, I can get, I can get Graham out. need the teamwork because my soldiers are getting out even if I don't end up getting the CIP my soldiers are getting out that's just all there is to it we'll Graham's gonna pull back to here um, okay I'm thinking there's there's a small chance I mean, yeah, if I bring him right here, 
this this drone is just gonna come up and stun him. So, okay, because I'm thinking I can burn this, this guy here. Let's do that. He is burning. We don't need to worry about him. Uh, and then, actually, actually, we have, oh, really? You can't combat protocol that, that drone? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, then I think the only hope I really have here is fragging that drone. I'd have to hit max, basically, which is pretty unlikely. But that's just going to have to be what it's going to have to be. Ah, uh, hit it for five. Okay. Um. Alright. Well. I can flashbang that guy. Seems like the best thing to do. Oh, that, that drone with one HP is going to take down this this uh, this VIP, isn't it? I mean, there's actually the sectoid could do it too. And anyone just hitting through high cover could end up doing it too. Uh, well, let's get the soldiers out. Okay, that guy, that Rocketeer is burning. Now what are these guys gonna do? Shooting, 40% miss. They're all over me. Okay, don't, don't, don't grab. He's poisoned. Oh, now you're dead. Now you're dead, you've been flanked. Oh, only hit for two, grazed, wow. Oh, okay, but now this guy's gonna come up and disorient him as well, and then it's gonna be Poisoned and disoriented. Uh, missed 32%. Take fire over here. Now what are you gonna do? You're gonna come up, you're actually gonna stun. Stunner, miss! It missed! Okay. So there's a flashbanged overwatch. Okay, with poison and red fog, we can still get out And we can actually come around the back way a little bit here. Oh my god. Miss! No! It grazed! Oh, are you kidding? Every little bit of damage they did. The poison, the, the two grazes. Oh man. How sad is that? How sad is that? Gene therapy clinics swell with new arrivals. He was just two tiles away from getting out in the first turn. That scientist had such low mobility. I really, really expected him to be able to get out that turn. If he had been at the front of the van, he could have gotten out, but he was hiding in the back. Oh man, how sad is that? I really wanted that extra scientist. Really wanted that extra scientist. Oh man. All right, well, let's improve a bond. Um. Let's see. 
advanced team workers now like a is kind of like a command instead of just movement. Yeah. Okay. That could be really good stuff. Ah, oh, that's so sad. I'm so depressed that that didn't pull through the way I wanted it to. Uh, Alright, we have hit vulnerable status on this mission as well. Uh, this one also, again, still sitting at very light. Uh, but we have kind of a real squad who can handle that um, a little bit, at least. Uh, Goose with a laser rifle, Grenadier, Technical, Shinobi, and Sadoff Ranger. I guess we're good to go for that now, huh? It's only been a 20 minute episode so far. Let's finish this up and then uh, I think we'll scan until the HQ is ready. Oh, that's so depressing. It grazed at that 34% shot. He was flashbanged through cover and he grazed. All I had to do was not graze. We even let the, the drone missed. Oh, so sad. I'm so torn up about that. I'm sorry, Mr. Scientist. You deserve better. But okay, here we are on this mission. We've got our full squad here. Let's go investigate things with uh, Senior Pump chops. Understood. We'll come right up to the edge of the map here. Again, you know, I've talked about this several times in this campaign so far already, but uh, very unlikely that uh, enemies will be here in this in this region of a, of a supply extraction. Almost always uh, at the line of the first box, sometimes a little bit further ahead with some, um, some uh, what you call them, uh, solo drones. And that's kind of it. It's kind of all you gotta really worry about. Okay, so we've come out to here. We don't see anything. We'll bring Christian up to there. Don't see anything. Um, so we'll just kind of follow suit here with the rest of the squad. Um, Kickass can actually run all the way up there. Perfect. And Goose, with her horrific mobility, almost as bad as that scientist's. Actually, probably worse considering what she's got equipped. Ah, I can't believe we stealth all the way through that. I'm still so, so sad that that stealth worked until the very bitter end. And then it just didn't. Alright, so there's a solo drone. Uh, okay. These solo drones on this, these missions really not what I want to activate against. Um, Roger that. But that's what they are there for. That is kind of their whole purpose. It's to be something that you don't want to activate against, that you have to. Ah, we've got... Oh, a big-ass turret over there. Okay. Gonna bring Goose right there. We're gonna bring uh, Mr. Bumchops. Where's this drone even going? I'm tempted to bring Bumchops way back over there. Um, we have that turret is really right in the middle of everything, isn't it? Goodness, how am I even gonna handle that? Nine HP, three armor. What do I have that can deal with that? Um. I guess, yeah, I mean, I have an arc pulser, I have a grenadier that can drop, yeah, all right, we'll be all right. That'll drop two of the armor, that'll, that'll handle most of it. And yeah, we'll pull Mr. Bum Chops back to here. Okay. How are things looking? Where are things? So the drone's coming right back towards us. Christian up a little ways, get some vision over here. Ah, we have a squad, or a pod rather. Uh, that is 
a sergeant. Okay. Mm. Okay. How do I want to get vision on the other members of that pod here? Let's bring Kickass over here. Also try and scout out over this way a little bit. Uh, there. Now we can see that guy. Um, okay. And Christian can, in fact, so I can't get into the place where he could activate the box, but he can get this high cover, high cover location. Woohoo! Whoa! Eyes on a hostile patrol. Wow! All kinds of Mark II advents. That was a Mark II mech. Oof. Yeah, we're really starting to hit that point in the campaign where we need mag weapons and we need them now. I may I may have delayed too long in getting mag. That could be what ends this campaign for us. Um okay. into position. Yeah, unfortunately we're gonna have six things that we're gonna be activating against all at once. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with them all. This drone, or this turret apparently can't see over here. Uh, which is good to know, good to know. So, I think... Hmm. I don't know that I can afford to keep Kick-Ass as a scout any longer. I just don't think that's going to work out. So let's bring him. Let's bring him just back to here a little bit. Uh, bring Goose out to here. And a bum chops. Gotta bring him up close. All he's got is. Uh, is his sawed off shotgun. Um, ah, Fajin can move a little bit further up if we want him to. Um, let's just bring him back to here. Okay, now who's gonna move away? If these guys move away, we might stand a chance on this activation, but these guys are going to move forward and spot us, I think. Oh, they're actually, yep, yep. Aha, <laughs> spotted Pager in that last movement. And I don't have any overwatches. All I was doing was moving into position. Oh, and you've spotted Kick-Ass too, okay. Which means we now have the turret activated as well. And we have those guys active as well. Oh, oh dear lord. Okay. Uh, well, first things first. Um... What can we have Christian do against these guys? Who can he burn? And who does he need to burn? Who can you slash, actually, is a better question. Because who you can slash, if you can kill anyone, that will be the person that you're hitting. But you can't kill anything. Um, ah. Nope. Huh. Okay, so Bum Chops could come up here, be in low cover, um, but he could eliminate this sergeant, most likely. Uh, really good chance to do it. Uh, all right, let's drop my evac. Uh, probably going to want it to be a little bit up in this direction after everything is said and done here. How about how about right there? That'll work. Um, well, first things first, let's use incoming just in case we uh, end up getting micro-missiled by that mech. Leaning towards moving here and burning this officer. Uh, 
Um, I think. Oh man, Goose really can't even. She'd have to run and gun to even hit this guy. How embarrassing. Um. All right. Let's move already. Yeah. All right. We're gonna move to here. Uh, we will mark this crate that's behind us. And we're going to burn this. Mark two officer, come on. Burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him, burn! He panics, it's not burning. It's good enough for now. Um, and, all right, so. Bomb Chops is either coming here. Let's see, it's, it's four to eight damage. Um, he's either coming here and point blanking, or he's going here and both barrels him. Oh, that's not a Mark II mech. It's a Mark I mech. Okay, that's that's good. That's actually really good. I guess we're gonna have to bring yeah I don't want to bring him here because I'd be flanked by that turret actually so that's that's going to decide that for us okay I'm chops are coming up here please don't activate another pod please don't activate another pod you did not all right both barrels 16 it's not guaranteed 55% chance to crit it's a really good chance though good didn't crit but max damage. Okay, we have Phaedron, Kickass, and Goose. And we have three things that currently can hit us. may want to leave this officer up because he may choose to move and mark um, so possibly I could have goose step forward some ways arc pulse this guy after kickass comes over here and shoots the drone so the Phaedron can step over and frag the turret in preparation for next turn so that he can frag the mech well, maybe, maybe Phaedron steps up to, well, I, I don't want to step up too far forward because I don't want this officer to be able to flank us. How are we going to do this? Maybe I just bring Phaedron back to here and grenade this drone. And then shoot it with Goose. She has a very small chance of just killing it outright, though. I'm actually going to shoot it with Goose and then come in and hopefully finish it up with Kick-Ass, uh, depending on how much damage it takes. And hopefully Phaedron can come over and and maybe... I might just grenade this officer. We'll Absolutely. see. 
see what happens here with Goose. 99%. 4 to 7 damage. Come on, hit for 7. Hit for 7. Hit for 7. Hit for minimum. See, now Pajan has to come over and frag it. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I just don't want to hit the tree. Come on, don't hit the tree. Okay. Ugh. So now, kick ass. That will let the officer. Where's the officer gonna go? I feel like the officer is going to step to here or here if I go there. Hmm. I may need to move kick ass here. This looks like the best, best spot. It's not a Se only 72% to hit this drone now. We only hit it for one. Oh my goodness. Three shots on the drone. It's just not worth it. Okay, mark and shoot through high cover. Ooh, actually gonna miss 87% on bump chops. I actually forgot I had to deal with that guy because he was gonna get flanked. Bump chops is dead. Okay. Well. <laughs> Oh, don't stun her. Come on, miss, miss, miss. You got red fog. You son of a bitch. Okay, miss 40%. Oh, man. Okay. Um. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so this panic will end next turn. Which means I I, I have to start damaging it. It's only 91%. How is it 91%? How does he have defense and dodge while he's panicked? It's bullshit. But we hit for eight. It's good. Um, yeah, panic is ending in one alien start. Yep. Um, and all I have <laughs> left right now is these two. Um, okay, we'll bring Phaedron over here. 100% finish off this drone. That's really not what I wanted him to have to, to, to do this turn. Um, okay, I think I need to pull Christian all the way back to here, get this flank shot against this advanced officer. I just have to take out what I can. 91%. I hate that defense. It missed. That sucks. That's, he's flanked. He's panicked. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, bullshit. I don't approve of that mechanic in the slightest. Nothing about that. I, uh, at, at that rank soldier with his aim and the laser gun and all of that, there's, there should be no chance of missing. 91%. That's so stupid. Actually hitting both of them. Okay. So he's moving and burning himself. Okay. Missed 68%. Wow. Freaking lucky, honestly. Missed 50%. Lucky again. Goodness. Um, okay. Kick ass. 96% on this officer. I need you to do it. 
Okay. That guy's dead. Wow. This is this is just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna reload and shoot. Or reload and, and grenade, rather. Not reload and shoot. What am I saying? <laughs> Minimum damage. Just pathetic. Uh, well. We're gonna just take the shot here. I don't like it. Hit for five. It's a good hit. He's down to 4 HP. He burned for 1. He should still be burning. And Christian's now flanked. Okay, hit through Ablative and then hit for 1. And kick ass miss. Bum Chops is bleeding out. Um, I could save him with Kick Ass, but then Kick Ass is going to get shot. Alright, please hit for four. A few minimum damage right now. Minimum damage right now. Oh my god. How badly can things go? Actually, Goose can run up here and be in cover. Alright, let's do that. She's gonna be in cover and should be able to stabilize. Bump chop, so at least he's alive. Let's bring Phaedron out to here. I hate how often he has had to not use his grenades. 81%, please hit. There we go. Hit for two, grazed. All right, um, and then I guess we'll bring Kick-Ass up here. We can mark some supplies and take a shot, 75%, at least get one damage out. A graze, but yeah, it's the same. <laughs> it's effectively the same thing. He burned. They're taking all the crates. Oh my goodness. Well, that's that's half the enemies, basically. Well, yeah, half the enemies. Miss 52%. That was lucky. Honestly, lucky. Okay, we're gonna move. Phaedron up to here. Stock and agility. We're gonna frag this guy. At least some of that armor's down now. So this would do two to four, but so would a shot. So I guess there's no point in uh, any of that. Let's see. Um, okay, actually, I could. I forgot that get up was a thing in Long War of the Chosen. So it's four to seven damage, or two to five, which would effectively be three to six after the armor. So four to seven, uh, the laser rifle is better. Okay. Hit it for minimum damage. Um, okay, let's bring Christian up here. Let's do this. And take that shot. 88%. Grazed it for one. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, we'll just let Kickass sit here and shoot her again. Got it. Max damage. Thank goodness. Okay. All right, evac is coming in one turn. Honestly, with just how badly things have gone, we've got two crates. I don't see any others that are real close by. I don't know that our squad can, can accomplish anything else here. Um, I'm going to bring Phaedron... Yeah, we'll bring Phaedron back here, grab this loot. Um, defense Elite Scope. Actually, that was super worth it. Um, okay. I could try and be aggressive here with Kick-Ass. We could go a little bit further to see if we can grab that crate next turn. Um, okay. Let's, let's move there. Let's let Bomb Chops get up. disoriented but he's no longer unconscious Not a problem. bring him right here and he actually can't heal himself so he's gonna hunker um, Christian could heal him let's do that that way he can at least take a little graze hit you know maybe Better chance that he'll uh, bleed out, I think. Overwatch right there. Okay. Okay. So those crates are gone. This has just been such a terrible mission. My goodness. But uh, this is... Honestly, this is not unexpected with uh, with how how things. Um, ah, we did activate. I was really hoping not to activate that last pod. Um, okay, well, we're gonna mark and bring the gas back down to there. Um, so goose. Come over here and stun. Uh, I think that's what she's going to do. 85%. That's not great odds. But it worked. Um, let's see. Let's bring Phaedron over to here. Uh, I can't actually see the other enemies. So I guess we'll overwatch there. Um, bump chops, honestly, I think I'm just moving. I'm going to evac him. He's uh, he's disoriented. He's, he's not. This is nothing. Nothing going to happen there. Uh, let's go ahead and use an incoming. We've only got this last turn left, really. Um, and then I think I'll pull Christian Don't back to here, around. and I don't really want to rocket all of that, but, so yeah, we'll just overwatch. overwatch. Looks like they're landing out of our vision, possibly, so they may not actually activate against us right now. Which would be ideal. Because then we won't take over watches against them. We'll only take over watches against other things. Uh, oh! Grazed for three! Uh, grazed that guy for one. Oh my god, 1% crit! This has been just absolutely. Horrific. Oh my god. Out. 
so many soldiers, so ridiculously hurt. Somehow that still hit that guy. I don't know. We're gonna just try and at least get some of these kills. Not really. I don't care about loot at this point. This has been awful. This has just been the episode of complete and utter failure. Uh, sure. He grazed it. No. Alright. Wow, we got two boxes. We took some serious wounds. Three of our soldiers got wounded. Four of our soldiers got wounded. Oh. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment. Wow. That. Oof. That was so painful. Bomb chops out for 29 days. Christian out for 28 days. Pajan out for 16 days. Goose out for 10 days. Wow. We got 22 supplies, 6 alloys, and 2 illyrium out of it, as well as a stock, agility, defense. We did get an elite scope. We got benefits, but oh, I don't know if they were worth it. This makes me super concerned for my HQ assaults, just seeing how, how badly we need um, mag weapons right now. We've hit force level 8, we're at June 30th, we're getting mag in... What, four days okay we've got 16 Illyrium crystals as we have shielded this place <coughs> Ooh, excuse me um Excavate there. Put both of our engineers there into the proving ground. Oh man. Uh, do I have anyone who can. Nope. Okay. Okay. Two hours before we finish that. Oh wow. I can't believe we just took four huge wounds on that. That was not worth it. Um, but, all right, let's keep scanning. Uh, Zatin recruited to East Asia. Awesome. Let's put you on Intel. Our cooperation has proved okay, so we've got Quatlex and Bree back here. Bree is ready to be promoted. Um, we have uh, completed... The f this is what the first stage of hunting the hunter. Let's see, what are these? Art of War? Ability points gained by promotion increased by 25%. Huh. Go promote our soldier. Oh, I'm just so depressed from that. I'm so depressed from that. Free. You know what? Let's give you. Let's give you center mass. Normally I go combatives, but we're just gonna do center mass there. 
And all right. So this is now strength eight. How many soldiers are on this mission right now? Swarming plus plus at the moment. Goodness gracious. 18 hours, still being at 100%. Uh, this is still guarded. It should drop down to, I guess it's going to be swarming. It's going to be so many soldiers to deal with. Here we have a new target acquired, 4 days, 10 hours, to prevent a resistance data leak. We're not going to bother. Because uh, we are going to liberate the region before that. Okay, 8 days, 0 hours here. For recover item from a vehicle, find a lead. 33 intel, intel package, that is what we need to do. Okay, air patrols has expired. Wonderful. Okay. Um, enemy tech and psionic defense are doubled. Okay. Microdose mighty missionaries. Okay. Let's see. Got two folks that are bonded with sharpshooters on this mission. It's fascinating. Got those klutzes. Who do we have here? You know what? Misuba and Kaiju? That makes for a great team for this mission. And as you've seen, we really need just the all the strength we can get. Um, so we have Suba for our specialist. Let's bring in some technical... Alloy plating. We're also going to give you a skulljack. Suba, will you be the first to skulljack somebody for us? That would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, however, I do really need you to have a scatter ray if you're coming in on this. Not you, actually. Uh, Kaiju. And we don't have one. Let's give you the SMG. Do I have someone who has a scatter? Yeah, I can give you. Uh, you know what? We're going to bring Scorch on this mission, too. This is... Uh, I'm just bringing high-strength folks right now. Uh, I, I can't afford to bring B and C teams, really. Um, or C teams, at least. I can afford to bring B teams, but C teams, not, not so much. Uh, we don't have any extra Predator armors. This will bring it down to extremely light. Can I bring a sixth soldier and still have it be extremely light? Because in that case, I could actually bring someone a little lower ranked. Uh, like one of my Psy operatives, actually, that would be super ideal. What happens if we put... Uh, not exactly. But, you know what? I think we can switch out Luxon for one of those PSYOPs. And, yeah, let's bring Zell along here. We're going to put Mikadu in there. So who was that? That was Scorch we want to bring, and uh, Zell Shot. Really would like to level up our size. Okay, but I did need to take a look at my assaults and who's got uh, scatter rays. Do I just need to build one more scatter ray? I'd really rather not. Uh, Zar is wounded. Okay, unfortunately I can't take it off of him, but that's what I thought. I thought we had one on someone that just got wounded. Okay, sorry buddy. Okay, one last time, gearing up the squad with Kaiju, me, Suba, um, Scorch, and a psyop, I think we will be all right. Uh, where'd Scorch go? There's Scorch. Okay. Give you that scatter ray. 
Right, you can still obliterate folks, especially with uh, run and gunning and, and trench gunning and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we got me with an arc blade as well. Definitely, definitely worth keeping that in mind. Um, do I? I don't think I have the ability to build. Okay, I could build an advanced arc throw, which I will do for Goose next time she goes out on a mission if I can remember to. Um, and I just don't have anybody else here. I was or any other any other secondaries I can build up and improve at the moment. I could build some predator armors. And I may just do that for Zell at least. You know what, let's just build both. Predator armor. Predator armor. I'll probably regret that once I'm uh, trying to build mag weapons, but you know what? Predator armors are going to last me a while too anyway. Uh, we do have a nice new PCS here. Advanced side. Actually, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Zell is actually ready to rank up. Okay. From the mission he did a while ago. Well, let's take the stuff off of him. I thought I was done... Uh, Switching people out and stuff, but I guess not. <laughs> Don't put the resistance warrior Kevlar armor on there. That stuff looks like garbage. Alright, we're gonna train Zell. Uh, let's see, Soul Steel. Soul Follow transfers the damage done back to the Psyop as health and grants an apple of HP for three turns, but increases the cooldown by one. Eh. Fuse. Okay, that's pretty fun. Uh. I like Fuse. I like Fuse. Let's go for Fuse. That's fantastic. Okay, so he's training for 20 days. Uh, he's out for a while. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna bring Momo in here. Uh, let's put Rickon in. Okay, maybe for real this time. Maybe for real. Momo and a Scorch. Predator armor. DCS, so you will get the advanced Psy. Here we go. Plus seven Psy offense, very nice. Okay, and I think we're good. That's the squad. Actually, let's bring one med kit here on Kaiju. And that's the squad. Okay, to so go get some intel on an intel package, which I have been sorely lacking both of those of late. This mission I think we can do for real, because this mission we aren't going to try and stealth, we're just going to... Go fast, go hard. Strike fast, strike hard, no mercy. Uh, Alright. Scan up. We are at 100%. Nope, nope, nope. Here. 37 to 39 enemies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 soldiers. There it is. That's our next mission. Finally doing the HQ assaults. It'll be a July 2nd liberation. And then two days later, we'll be getting mag weapons. Whew. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, we had a terrible mission today. We got super unlucky with a whole bunch of grazes and just terrible... Uh, terrible activations and all kinds of stuff. So hopefully uh, we used up all of our bad luck so that the next mission can go very, very smoothly. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I can't say I did with all the wounds we took, uh, but we're getting, we're getting somewhere. I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh, we'll see you guys then. Good luck, commanders.